this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead. Um, I've been busy. I went shopping um, the other day at the weekend and bought shed loads of stuff. <laughs> and on Monday I started to sort it all out. Um, Monday and Tuesday. Canning, preserving, making meals up, freezing them, uh, that took two days. My shelves are looking a lot better now <laughs> and my freezer's looking a lot better as well. But it really took it out of me and it took it out of my shoulder in particular because of, I've told you before I had a stroke when I was 20 and I've got no coordination in this hand. That's why on a lot of videos you might see my right hand shaking, especially on the sewing videos you can see my right hand shaking. It, that's one of the things that the stroke uh, has left me with, <laughs> that um, I still get annoyed with over 30 years later. But um, so because my uh, right hand is useless, no coordination, I have to, I had to become left-handed, which wasn't too bad because I was fairly ambidextrous anyway. But I use my left hand all the time now. I don't trust my right. Uh, uh, because I'm using it all the time, my uh, my joints, the pseudo gout is going in all my joints. Uh, it's in my knees, bad. That they're sorting out with injections and that. But I've been having it off and on for about five years now, in my left shoulder, and with doing so much, my left shoulder was in agony uh, Tuesday night and through Wednesday so I didn't do anything but obviously obviously because I had to become left-handed uh, if I made myself a drink or use the computer and that I was actually using my left arm so therefore my shoulder so it, it, it isn't as though I rested it completely um, it, I just didn't do that much with it and it's a lot better now um, so today today's Thursday I've been and reclaimed my kitchen <laughs> and finished off the last of the things that needed preserving uh, such as sorting out my kefir I buy uh, six um, pints which is about a litre and a half? No, um, not a litre and a half. gallon and a half of milk. Use it up in making different things. And then I um, change my kefir out so I can make some uh, cheese uh, out of the kefir. Put fresh milk into it and whatever's left I freeze. And then if I don't go to the shops for quite a while which I don't I uh, pull that frozen milk out and change my kefir over so my freezer that's uh, my freezer that's here in my extended pantry I use so much it's unbelievable um, it's rare I go a day without going in there for something. Even though I've got the freezer downstairs at the below me fridge, I still use this one an awful lot because I can fit big things in it. Downstairs is lot of things and things I'm running on. Uh, I haven't quite finished all the preserving but I finish enough for what I'm doing now. 
besides I thought it's Thursday today I've got to do a video for Fabric Friday which I haven't done yet which I will get round to doing so see you soon bye It's a